Previously, I showed you how to do relay bypass kill switch, as seen here, 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 and here. Unfortunately, this method is very dangerous, especially for this vehicle. I don't know about other vehicles, but this should not be done in the Hyundai Ionic 5. The reason being, if this fails for whatever reason, the whole car will stop immediately. There's no way to even turn the steering wheel of the vehicle. Here's a relay for the shifting to shift the car out of park, but for whatever reason, it does not work without heavy modification to the relay. Today, we're going to focus on fuse bypass kill switch instead. This one is super easy, but I thought, hmm, maybe I should make a video for you guys anyway. Let's jump into this location right here. This is the fuse for the shifting. This is location for the fuse that's in charge of shifting the car, shifting it out of park. We're going to convert that from a normal fuse to a fuse bypass. So go ahead and grab your fuse holder right here. Take it out of position. Grab it. Use it to grab this fuse and then pull straight out. This is a micro two fuse, by the way. And here is the fuse bypass. Once you grab the normal fuse out, all you have to do is plug this in. It bypasses the fuse connection right here, allowing you to plug a normal size fuse right here. All you have to do is cut one wire, and we're going to route that to a switch. That will be your kill switch. And this is where you will be plugging a normal size fuse. Upon closer look at the fuse bypass, you can see that this tip right here is not the same thing as this tip right here. That's a problem because there's no way you can plug the adapter in. If you take a closer look at this angle, you can see what I'm talking about. So use a file or a Dremel, that's what I use by the way, a Dremel, to file this thing down right here, this thing down, on the other side as well, here, and somewhere here. Once you're done, this is what it should look like. You can see that I use the Dremel to file it down right here, here, and of course on the other side as well. Don't file this thing in the middle. Next up, go ahead and file this thing right here to be perfectly flat as well. It should be flat as the piece in the middle right here. If all is good, this is what you should have. The original fuse is out of the way already and in is this fuse bypass. The blue and the yellow will be going to the kill switch. In order to connect the blue and the yellow to the wire, I'm just going to use these uh, connections with the crimp. You can then use a heat gun and a dryer to shrink down those uh, heat shrink. There we go. It is super secure. There's no way the wires can get loose. And even if the wires get damaged or loosen out, it doesn't matter. The worst case scenario is that you're in motion, you're in the drive gear, and you just can't shift back into the park position. Of course, you can always shift into neutral position, get out of your car, pop the fuse bypass out, insert the real fuse back in, and you're back on the road again. Not a big deal at all. Also, this modification lets you revert everything back to factory settings. There's no way a Hyundai technician can know if this car was ever tampered with. Now that your car is more protected, the only way a thief can steal the car is by popping the hood, installing a fuse, or using a regular paperclip. But of course, I made popping the hood extremely hard. It is now much, much more challenging to open the hood up to do anything. I suppose they can always steal the car by getting a tow truck. There's no way getting around that, of course. All right, hopefully this video explains what a fuse bypass with kill switch is. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.